At the Cooperative Cafe, we have three main goals, advancing our thinking, building shared understanding, and creating alignment at our co-ops and among co-ops. These goals exist in three different layers. During the session itself, at our individual co-ops back home when we're doing the work and moving it forward, and among co-ops regionally and nationally. Our theme for this session is connecting co-ops and community with an emphasis on a new paradigm for participation, own, use, serve, and belong. During the co-op cafe session, we use powerful questions to focus the conversations. For this session, we use the question, how can we begin to shape cooperative democracy and participation as a driving force for the success of our co-ops? What could it look like? What might happen? In the first question, participants focused on the concepts of own and belong, and in the second question, use and serve. After a series of small group conversations, we ask each small group to distill the conversations they've been having down to just a few words. A person from each group then shares their work. Here's a sampling. Um, well, we tried. Number one, we talked a lot about the language shift. That was the two words predicated with that perhaps we are overstressing membership versus participation. We needed to grow into the broader community, learning and rehearsing and finding new ways to tell our story. Transcend cultural differences, empowering staff in values conversations, maintaining belonging through membership growth. Identify drivers to participation, identify drivers of estrangement, public mind mapping as a new technology for engagement. <laughs> We're using the word dignity. Uh, Co-ops help us reclaim our collective dignity. Acknowledge and cultivate our ambassadors, as in those People who we think are just shoppers, improving the accessibility of our principles, our co-op principles. The community will need to trust the organization. If you have that trust, they will come and they will shop. The second one was um, culturally contextured communication. How do we reach out to pull in? And the result would be change. Our first is change the approach. Our second is educate the whole community. Extend the invitation because people are waiting to be involved. Keep technology current. Use inclusive language. Know your community. We want to invigorate the community, our base, our members and non-members <coughs> to include all, all co-ops thrive, reboot um, our society as a whole. Effectively communicate our values. Passion comes from ownership. Cultivate collective power around shared values. Issue invitations and inclusive language invites participation. Opportunities for non-member uh, participation on committees, create conversations, and mindful intentional language. Becoming the social center, embracing our children, and education without alienation. Engage diverse governing body, education on all fronts. Realize and cultivate our collective power. Sell our economic model, broaden our socioeconomic base, and exploit our sense of authentic community. Create participation structure. Um, everyone has a voice. A transparent value chain from start to finish. Community capital is our principal product. Recognize diversity of ownership. Empower people to identify who they are. We want to create a place that feels like home. We want to uh, meet people where they're at and tell our ownership story. I'm going to use storytelling and friendship so folks can imagine themselves in the co-op and within its story. To push our boundaries, to be truly opening and welcoming to all, for all folks, and to amplify the voices of individuals in our co-ops and of our co-ops because we are stronger together. We want to invite people into a relationship with the co-op and then get out of the way and allow evolution of participation. Evolve the ways that we listen to our members and infect our members with positive experiences. First step, clarify roles and responsibilities of all involved and be explicit. Secondly, create a safe space or opportunity for brainstorming ideas. Focus on kids, current parent members, and growing new owners. Reach out and invite in. Use language that makes our values visible. Be transparent, educate all, challenge our thinking about participation. What we do as individuals matters more collectively. Awareness develops belonging and increases participation. Economic cooperation fosters sense of well-being. Define impact locally. Tie economic participation to self-interest and build one-to-one -one relationships. 
demonstrate our social and economic impact in the community, lead by example and service. Number three is define ownership opportunities. Educating, empowering, engaging staff and owners, connecting to values and community, and telling the story. Create collaborative community partnerships, connect the dots to values. Create ways to belong, educate and empower staff, and use the co-op to serve the community. Meet people where they're at, it's okay. Staff as the co-op ambassadors. Members speak to us in different ways. Member owners telling the story, integrity of co-op food, diverse and appropriate media. Change the language, change the perception. Shared knowledge creates community, and be memorable in your message. Deliver it cleverly and consistently. Listening to community, owners, and co-ops. Invest in staff. Don't I get any applause for that? <laughs> And, and transparency. Inform owners how they already serve. Encourage member owners as ambassadors. Empower staff as ambassadors. Tell the co-op story with consistent language. Highlight, highlight co-op values to promote, promote loyalty, especially with staff. And think outside the store. Empower ambassadors and advocates. Facilitate opportunities for owners to serve and consider the percentage of active owners not just sales figures build momentum and power by finding common ground transparency is fundamental to building trust and foster a collective dialogue by encouraging individual agency listen to all stakeholders educate and empower staff and owners co-op service Clarify the opportunities for use and service. Get off the bench and join the team. Partner with owner passions. Meet diverse community needs by seeking feedback. Engage member owners as advocates. Make ownership more accessible. Empower staff and community with education and information. Owners act as ambassadors and advocates. Keep the co-op dynamic and accessible and convenient for owners. Dispel the myths. Create the messages for owners and new paths to ownership. Expand concept of use, belong and be an advocate. Ask members what use means. Member conversations on advocacy, co-ops as collective individualism, and extending participation and loyalty to non-owners. All levels of service are important. Serve by educating. Ask, don't assume people know what they need or know what we need. Re-educate members on the language of service. Include local producers in the co-op service loop. Address income inequality by welcoming and providing access to low-income members. Look for the opportunity in failures. Uh, staff are empowered to engage shoppers, effectively tell the co-op stories. 